So I'm in the utility room in the basement, and from time to time, there's a faint smell of gas. I ran soap tests on all of this gas piping and all the joints, uh, and even over here by the water heater, and didn't see any bubbles. I picked up this natural gas detector. I'm gonna see if I can find if one of these joints is leaking. Let's check over here. It's pretty easy after you just turn it on. You just put it near the joints. See if there's any leaks. Oh! So now I'm just airing out the detector so that it will stop alarming and reset so I can check the joint one more time just to be sure. Okay. So I think it's that bottom capped off joint. All right, let's try it one more time just to be sure. Oh yeah, okay. Turned off the power and the gas to the furnace before getting started. Came in prepared to use a heavy pipe wrench to loosen that cap off, only to discover that it was barely hand tight. I guess that explains the gas leak. I had planned on cleaning the cap and the joint with a wire brush, but given how loose it was, just some very loose hand cleaning of the threads I think was going to be plenty. After cleaning the threads I wrapped them with yellow Teflon tape designed for gas piping going in the same direction as the cap will be tightened on so that the tape doesn't come loose when I go to tighten on the cap. Then it was just a matter of screwing the cap on making sure I don't cross-thread them, and then tightening down with a wrench. After it was tightened down nice and snug, turn the gas back on and check for leaks. Okay, I got that Joint cleaned up, put some tape on it, retighten the cap back on. Doesn't look like there's any leaks. Fantastic. It was easier than I thought.